Hello, I'm Michael Guillory, and I am here with Mark Wrigley at the QNX booth here at CES 2013. And today we're going to take a look at an incredible project that we work collaboratively with QNX on to develop an ultimate interface for automobile for infotainment and more. So I'm going to pass it over to my friend Mark here and give him the microphone, and he's going to show you all the details of this incredible demonstration. Here you go, Mark. Thanks. All right. So um, this year, uh, we had a little bit of fun after our success with the Porsche last year at CES. We decided we'd step it up a little bit and we've got this beautiful Bentley Continental GT convertible, which has been a lot of fun to work on. And we've had a lot of fun working with our friends at TI who've helped us out an awful lot uh, in a couple of areas, which I'll be happy to highlight for you here. So I'm going to take a seat in the driver's side and walk you through some of the features. So basically what we've done is to showcase the uh, QNX Car 2 software platform. We've taken our reference implementation, which was done in HTML5, and we've replaced it with uh, OpenGL native graphics using a uh, storyboard uh, graphics framework from Crank Software. And it's worked out really well. You can see right off the bat, we have an unusually large, uh, beautiful screen in the center console which is a TI DLP screen, and we're really excited to have this in the car because I think it's the first time it's actually been integrated into a real car. Um, some of the neat things about this is that maybe you can see it's actually got a curved surface so that on a large screen like this, your fingers can actually touch all the areas of the screen without having to reach with an angled screen. Um, it's actually got pre-touch, which we've integrated with the application selector, so we've got a physical dial mounted right on the screen and as I approach it the optical sensor can detect the presence of my hand and react to it by bringing the UI to life which is pretty cool uh, we've got lovely big beautiful 3d maps of Vegas and it's kind of neat to be in Vegas because there's all these really interesting buildings here these maps are provided by our, uh, our friends at Electrobit they've been really helpful as well on this so I guess I can take you through a few of the cool features. So we can use our navigation system here in Vegas to take us to the Wynn Casino, which is a pretty nice place. So it's running in a demonstration mode here. So the thing about demoing a car on the carpet is we have to animate all the needles on the instrument cluster and uh, script the navigation software so that it's actually looking like we're driving. So you can see on the instrument cluster here that our next maneuvers are showing up. So we're going to turn right on East Desert Inn Road. <laughs> it is pretty neat. And then in about a mile we're going to turn right again on Channel 8 Drive. Uh, this is showing sort of the integration between the different uh, elements of the car system. Uh, we've got all the other kinds of things that you could expect in a car. We've got uh, media player, uh, climate control, of course, and car system information. So you can check on your fluids and braking system and wheels and tires and things like that. What's really neat about this is uh, the center console is being powered by an OMAP 5 processor. It's a very high resolution screen. It's actually 1080p by 1920, so it's full HD. And when you're running on the map, full screen, you can see that the graphics performance on the OMAP 5 is really quite fantastic. There's two SGX cores chewing away on all those vertices and all the nice textures and stuff like that, and it's, uh, it's really quite fluid. Uh, the instrument cluster is being powered by an OMAP 4 Panda board, uh, which is running an OpenGL application. Also very high resolution screens. Uh, and we're getting amazing frame rates on this, which is really important in an instrument cluster. It's a safety critical system, and there are actually standards for minimum updates and stuff like that. So, one of the things that's really neat about QNX is we don't just do operating system and stuff like that. Um, we've got an acoustics group as well. It does some fantastic stuff. And one of the neatest parts of this demo um, is ultra high definition stereo telephony. So one of the features that um, Bentley actually asked us to include in here is uh, video conferencing. It's very exclusive. Uh, when you're parked, uh, it's kind of a neat thing to be able to do in your car, especially on a great big screen. Um, the phone call, Phil, can you take us very quickly through the, the quality of the audio that we're hearing? 
Sure. Uh, the the normal hands-free call on cellular would be narrow band, so uh, an eight kilohertz sample rate or four kilohertz of, of audio bandwidth. Uh, what's coming out right now is high depth that takes you up to about seven kilohertz. What you're listening to now is full bandwidth, as much as the human ear can hear, which takes you up to 20 kilohertz. So this is uh, uh, a 20 kilohertz call. Uh, it's also full duplex. And, um, so Phil and I can actually, speak at the same time and he won't yeah, drop out. Yeah, so we can talk oh. and we, we interrupt each other, but we're, uh, it's not like a, kind of that Skype experience where a person laughs and then you don't hear what the other person is saying. Uh, so it's very natural communication. But we also uh, have a, a system where we can use this for multiple purposes. So we envision communication uh, to be unlimited. You could use it for multiple purposes. So many people talking at the same time or even uh, multimedia applications. Phil, you're the best, yes. man. All right. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> so it's really pretty neat. Um, we're really excited to work with the screen too because it has so many unique characteristics. The curve of the screen, uh, the, the really high contrast, uh, the impressive size, and the hard physical controls and the pre-touch are things that our UI designers are really excited to work with. And uh, I think it's, it's come together well. So another fun thing that we did here is uh, gone a little bit farther with the cloud connectivity. We've written an application in HTML5 that's running in the browser on this prototype BB10 phone. And you can see um, that I can get some of the same information that was on the UI here. And I can also see media metadata, what's playing in the car in real time. Uh, and we can do cool stuff like control the car. So for example, if I hit this button, watch your fingers, the windows are going up, which is pretty neat. It's actually, the page is served up by a server that's in the cloud. I hit the button, it goes up to the server, back down to the car and onto the CAN bus. So it's really, really neat. So you can open, we can lock and unlock the doors. We can beep the horn, which is not very popular at <laughs> CES, so we try not to do it. What's really neat about this is it's not actually an application that you have to install. It'll run on any, any uh, smartphone at all. It just runs right in the browser. So it's just pure HTML. It's very, uh, it's very elegant. We like it a lot. So that's the QNX car. It includes OMAP technology and DLP to create a great demo, partnering with QNX to put an incredible demonstration here for CES. It's a real showstopper. Thanks for watching.